everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today we're underneath our 2001 Lexus GS300. And I'm going to show you the lift points, where to lift the car and where not to lift the car. And the good news is they left the results from where not to lift the car behind. <laughs> so you can see my lift points I have. I'm using the actual pinch body rail. It's not a frame, but it's part of the whole body. It's, it's a pinch weld. Then you have your lip, your outer lip which is a lot of places where people put the jacks in the jack stands or lift the car up with the car lift. And it works on most cars, but on this Lexus, it does not. And you can see someone has done all four lift points on the pinch rail, is what they call it, and they have pushed the car up. Even in the back here. You just barely see it pinched up a little bit. Definitely more on that side. So I set my lift up on the actual body rails, which is a thick steel rolled. And it's more secure and a better place. Looks like someone even put a floor jack here. You can see this two pinch right here. This is the actual floor. It's not the, it's not the pinch rail, even though it looks like it is. I mean, it it's not the body rail. So if you have a floor jack at home, not the car jack, but an actual floor jack, and I was gonna put jack stands on this, you could slide it underneath and set it right up here on this cradle, center it, put it in the center, jack the car up, and then you could put your jack stands on where I have my lift points. So then your jack stands will be sturdy right here, then you can lower the jack and get it out of the way. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.